Chris, can you hear me? I need an ambulance. My name's Reese Lawson. I'm a doctor at Erinsborough Hospital. I've got an 18-year-old male. He's unconscious with a suspected pneumothorax. He doesn't have 10 minutes. He's shutting down. And the guy behind the break-in was working for the developers. Yeah, and who told us that? Come on, Toad, it all adds up. Mate, it's a law firm. I saw him. I was at Noonan's office this afternoon, and this guy walked straight in for a meeting with your boss. Are you sure it's the same guy? I know what I saw. And cameras don't lie. You can see him as clear as day. Have a look if you like. Huh. That's a shame. Mm, early morning client, apparently. Oh, it doesn't mean you can't go out. I mean, dress like that demands to be shown a good time. I can't go out on my own. Why not? Because I'll, I'll look desperate. Ah, oh, no, I do it all the time. It's fun. You get to sit back and check everyone out. Nah, it's not really my thing. Surely there's someone else you can call. What about you? You know, it's about time we got to know each other. Well, I was going to wait for the boy. Well, just write him a note. Tell him we're having a girls' night out or something. Or oh, are you... Are you one of those girls who has to do everything as a couple? Uh, oh, you are so on. <laughs> Mr. Rebecca. Superintendent, how can I help you? We'd like to come down to the station to answer some questions regarding a recent incident. This is about Chris Pappas. I take it you know he was attacked. He's been taken to hospital in a critical condition, which, as I'm sure you'll understand, makes our inquiries all the more urgent. Yeah, sure. Sure, you don't mind if I go? They just want a statement or something? This is not a request, Mr. Rebecca. We want you to come to the station regarding some serious allegations that have been made against you. Reese. Pretty risky. Attempting a decompression on the spot. I had no choice. If you'd seen those x-rays, you would have done the same thing. Yeah. Emergency procedure in a situation like that can leave you wide open if something goes wrong. I was on the spot and I had to make a decision. I, I sterilised as much as I could. Chris, anything could have gone wrong. But it didn't, did it, Carl? What do you want me to do, let him die? Well, hopefully it'll all work out. You better sit down. Uh, I might go and put the kettle on. No, stay. I'd rather I had to say this only once, actually. I think Peter's trying to frame me. What? For the attack on Chris. Lucas was right. It looks as though Peter set the whole thing up. Why would he do that? But it, they have to believe that you have nothing to do with this, didn't you tell them? Till I was blue in the face. Fraud and conspiring to commit assault. I think I'm in some trouble. 